What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to reinstall Windows while keeping all of your programs and files so that you can get your system working good again. If you've been playing around with settings and something broke that you just can't repair, or for some reason or another, your system is just super unstable, well, you can take everything you have right now and just reinstall the Windows base underneath it, leaving everything else in place. This can help solve a lot of things, but do keep in mind this is kind of a risky thing. In the first place, Windows may not let you in place upgrade or in place repair, in which case the only option really is to reinstall Windows, and of course something else unknown could go wrong in the process as we are installing Windows again. So keeping this in mind, make sure you have a full backup of everything that's important to you, your documents, your programs, keys, etc., and of course important things on your system, like configurations for those, such as app data, local app data, etc. Assuming you have a full backup of everything important on your system, let's continue. In order to in-place upgrade or in place repair your system, you'll need to download a copy of the Windows Installer ISO. For this, you can download it from the Microsoft website by just searching for download Windows 10 or Windows 11. Click it, look for the ISO download, select a language, download, again, confirm, and download it here. This will give you an ISO file that you can simply just right-click and choose mount, and it'll pop up in your This PC section, just as a usual CD would. You can, of course, get this Windows installer ISO from a different website, but usually the best place to get it is the Microsoft website. That way, nothing important is missing, but you are free to customize it as you see fit, for which you'll find guides down below that'll show you how to deep load Windows even before you install it. Regardless, once you've got Windows mounted in some way or another, open it up, yes, and you'll see this window pop up. Otherwise, if you see the actual files, just run setup.exe. In some cases, you can extract the entire ISO into a folder and run the setup from that folder and things will still work properly. Anyways, once this pops up, we can customize how updates are downloaded. I'll choose to skip them and we'll click next over here. At this point, it'll check your PC if it's Windows 11's setup, and of course, if it's unmodified, it'll need TPM and a couple of other system requirements. You can always skip these or bypass these using different tools and settings, or assuming you're reinstalling Windows 10, that's not going to be an issue at all. Click past the license here by accepting it, and shortly after, it should pop up with a screen prompting you for more info. The screen it could, of course, take a while depending on how much you have installed and set up, as right now it's thinking if it can in-place upgrade and and let you keep all of your personal files and apps. You need to make absolutely sure that you see keep personal files and apps in this screen here. Otherwise, if it only says install Windows 11 or clean reinstall or something like that, you're going to lose all of your personal apps and files, which is not good. I'll click change what to keep. And in here, you just need to make sure that this top option, keep personal files and apps is ticked. Once you've done that, you can click next over here. And from here, if you chose to download updates, it'll do it now, but it'll extract all of the Windows files and set things up for you as soon as we click install. You can check your Windows version by hitting start and typing in WinVer as such. Open it up and we're currently running, well, this build over here. You'll probably see that this will change as the version that I downloaded should be slightly more up to date, but you can do this with the same version number. I don't think that you can downgrade using this method, but you may be able to if it's a small enough downgrade. So anyways, for now, we'll click install and wait for this to complete. Again, just make absolutely sure that everything is backed up before we get here. If you realize you may have missed something, click cancel and get back there to fix it. Anyways, I'll jump forward in time to when this is done. There we go. So now it's restarting. And from here, it'll appear to be just a usual Windows update. And there we have it. The system's now rebooted. And of course, everything's left where it was. All of my program settings are still there, all of my files, etc. And of course, if we hit start, type in WinVer and check out the version here, it should look slightly different. Let's see. No, it's the same. I just reinstalled the same version of Windows, replacing all the corrupt and maybe broken files in the background. At this stage, any weird issues that you just can't troubleshoot through that seem to be coming from something deep in Windows may have been solved by this, but unfortunately, sometimes those issues just persist no matter what. If you'd like to see a full reinstall guide with optimizations and things like that to keep in mind, such as, well, reinstalling Windows and not having any bloatware, you'll find links to those videos down below. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully it helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.